Welcome back to Topic Programming. And if you're interested in the latest tech news and love code and computer science, take two seconds and subscribe to watch the rest of the video. With that out of the way, let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to be using this super starter kit for the Arduino Uno R3 and OpenAI's ChatGPT to build a calculator. First, we'll open a web browser of your choice and search for OpenAI. Click on OpenAI and scroll down until we get the try checked. Once you click on that, you'll need to sign in or create an account. In my instance, I just need to log in. Once it finishes loading, we'll ask it for some help. Once it finishes, you might have to ask it to continue. But once it finishes, we'll get the components necessary. The kit is from a company called Laffin. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check them out. If we go ahead and open it up, we can take the top plate off and take out the Arduino. Then while we're at it, we're also going to take out the power slash data cable and set both of those aside. We'll start by taking out the membrane switch module and the LCD. Once we've taken out everything we needed to, we'll set the rest of the kit aside and look back at chat for instructions. Looking back at the instructions, we see that we need a 10K potentiometer. Once we get that, we'll start with step one. Step one, connect the LCD1602 module to the Arduino Uno R3 board. Firstly, we'll connect the VSS pin on the LCD to the ground pin on the Arduino with a jumper wire. We'll do the same thing when connecting the VDD pin to five volt pin, the VO pin to the potentiometer's middle pin. We'll then connect the potentiometer to ground and 5 volt on the Arduino. Then we'll need to connect the RS pin to pin 12 on the Arduino. And we'll do the same thing when connecting the RW pin to ground, E pin to pin 11, and lastly LCD pins D4, D5, D6, and D7 to Arduino pins 5, 4, 3, and 2, respectively. Once we have every connection connected, we'll move on to step 2. Connecting the membrane switch module to Arduino Anara 3 board. Now instead of following those instructions, I had to specify that I have a 4 by the matrix keypad. Once I did so, it showed me exactly how to do it. After peeling off the back of the keypad, we see that these pins that are for rows and these to the left are for the columns if we trace the pins to where they go. If we refer back to chat GPT, we see that this trace to the far right, which goes to keypad number one, is row number one. And we'll connect that to Arduino pin nine. The next one over we'll connect it to pin eight. Then if we keep going from right to left and follow GPT's instructions, we should be done wiring. To wire the columns, GPT says we put 10K on resistors. Then hook it onto the Arduino. Luckily, I have some laying around, so we can just use those. We'll just connect the resistor to a breadboards then to the Arduino. We can then pick up where we left off, pin five, which is column one, goes to pin a zero, on the Arduino column to goes to pin a one, column three to pin a two, and column for two pin a three. Once we're finished with that, we should be done wiring everything. The next step will be to code everything. The first thing we need is the Arduino ID. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment and the description to download Arduino ID. Once you have it installed and open, Create a new sketch and paste the code into the sketch. I'll leave a link in the description and the pinned comment to my GitHub page, from which you can copy from. Once you have the code pasted, connect your Arduino to your PC. Select the correct board and, once the code is uploaded, you can try it out. Either still connected to your PC or a 9 to 12 VDC power supply. Once you ensure that the calculator works, you're done. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any issues or errors, don't be afraid to tag me in the comments and I'll help you out otherwise. Thanks for watching. If you like programming, please like and subscribe.